Hello Capricorn and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your first half of June 2023 tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for our lovely Capricorns, please. First half of June 2023. We have the Knight of Cups, the Ace of, Pe Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. With that, we have the Ten of Swords, the Hanged Man, The Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands, we have the Three of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, And we have the Page of Cups. There's a, a kind of energy here, the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Somebody is defending defending against an ending, doesn't want things to end. Uh, it might well be that they're stepping up in some way here as well, Capricorn, because the Ten of Swords can be painful, but sometimes if we don't get what we want in relationships, if we choose that things aren't for us anymore, or if we've been betrayed, deeply wounded, deeply hurt in a scenario, there can be an ending of some kind. However, this is someone who is defending against that but it might well be that they have to step up to defend and protect what they don't want to let go of sometimes as part of that process you know people can it can sometimes be a little bit egotistical, that energy as well. Uh, not wanting to, um, not wanting something to end and doing what they can to negate you ending this scenario here. But it can also be, if there's been reasons here, Capricorn, why an ending would take place. Sometimes the ego in that situation can devolve responsibility you know um you might be dealing with that kind of energy as well as somebody who really doesn't want things to end but almost like if they've done something wrong oh well yeah but you know you've done this as well and you know it's it's almost kind of like that deflecting situation where they <laughs> rather than own it they try to kind of like um diffuse it in some way di diffuse their own actions you know that won't serve them this time and that's what I'm saying the best way to defend and protect is just to kind of like um face everything deal with it own up to it and there's the potential of overcoming it then the handman and the three of wands uh, is an interesting one because the three of wands can be empowered energy of turning your back in a scenario but you're waiting you know you're not saying it's 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 done yet uh, because again, the three of wands can be, nope, that ship has sailed, I'm moving in a new direction, but you're delaying that, the hanged man. Okay, well, let's listen to what you have to say. Let's see, uh, let's wait and see if things are going to change. Let's wait and see if um, things can be healed even. You know, this is the scenario here with the hanged man. Sometimes we're not saying yes, we're not saying no, we just wait. Because that can be the best scenario, especially if we sometimes feel we're not sure about which way to go in a scenario and we don't want to make a decision that we later regret. Sometimes we put the onus back on that person to 
prove that things are going to change, that things can be healed. You know, this can be the scenario here. So it looks like there's a little bit of hope, promise, but the jury's out. That's the energy here. Because we have the Ace of Swords, a truth, seeing a truth, a truth coming to light, someone realizing a truth, this can be an energy here, so however that is on that level. We have the Eight of Pentacles, again if it was somebody who had done something and they don't want something to end, they want to be given the chance to make it right. The Eight of Pentacles, I'll put the time and energy into this to prove to you that we can build back up. We can absolutely make changes. Again, if this was again defending against an ending in other, you know, for other reasons, you've come so far, you know, you've come so far in this scenario and it might well be someone realizes that it's time to step up in some way. So however that manifests for you. But I feel the, there's a strong energy here of maybe dealing with some kind of truth but not wanting something to end, wanting to be given a chance to prove that they can make it right. The Page of Cups, a message from the heart, can also be linked with children as well, so it might well be. I would hope they don't use children as part of this negotiating tactic, but it can also be that there's other people to consider with the Page of Cups, like a child. But ultimately, this is a message from the heart. No, I know we're dealing with this truth, but can, can I have a chance to prove myself to you? That would be the energy here, to build back up in some way. The Ace of Pentacles, emotional rebirth on a solid footing. This can also be linked with property and home. So starting over in the home, the property, the relationship, the Ace of Pentacles can also be linked with moving or relocating. But it's starting on a solid footing again. Promising that sense of new abundance, the the promise as well of you won't you won't regret it. Give me a chance and you won't regret it. The Six of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Somebody who has been in your atmosphere for quite a while. You know, the Six of Cups is someone who we have history with, nostalgia with, memories with. Can even be children, like I said before. But the Knight of Cups is somebody who is offering you love, apologies heartfelt offer of some kind wearing their heart in their sleeve so this definitely feels here Capricorn that they want to prove something to you they want to negate an ending of some kind by really putting the work and effort into building back up I feel that something came to light here that had the potential to end this um but before you turn your back on this, you're waiting. The jury's out and that's the energy here. And that would be the message as well, because it feels like sometimes the best thing to do is nothing. You know, the best thing to do is put the onus on them. Certainly if, if something's come to light here and they want to prove themselves to you, it's about giving them the chance to do it. Because if they let you down again, then that's your answer. However, if there is a chance to build back up and renew that, then that's your answer as well. So sometimes the best thing to do is, is nothing. Uh, and that's what I feel that you are, you're coming to. That's the answer that you're getting this for the next two weeks is, okay, let's wait and see. The jury's out. And that's the best way to be. The situation resolves itself by doing nothing sometime letting the other person prove themselves to you. And that's what I'm seeing here quite strongly. Okay, Capricorn. Let's pull final message. Protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work, yeah. Self-preservation -pres and protection as well. This just feels like the joy is out, let's wait and see. And if this was other scenarios here, Capricorn, I mean, really it does feel more like a relationship, but sometimes I look at the cards and see if it will be translated in other areas. 
This would be, you know, a, a similar scenario in terms of friendship or family, for example, as well. But it would also be in a work scenario. It might well be for some of you that, you know, uh, there's a renewal or an offer of some kind in terms of a work scenario here where you're given some kind of new opportunity. Uh, and it could well be because they don't want to lose you, you know? And they had a chance before to give you more money, for example, in some way, but they didn't. This is where they're stepping up to stop from losing you in some way. It might well be you've got a new job opportunity, for example, so they step up and offer more to keep you. And this is the energy where you wait and see. You hold on moving towards a new job because there could be some breakthrough in your current situation here where you're given greater recognition, even a pay rise, you know? So you choose to potentially stay where you are and wait and see and don't potentially move just yet. That would be the scenario. Yeah. That's what I have for you for the first half of June. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful first half. I will see you next time.